Please, may I have your attention? Guests and residents of the villa alike, I ask you to step outside and look to the night sky. It's the moment you've been waiting for, the reason we're all here. The gala event, the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. You are the ones who have made this momentous occasion possible, and for that, we thank you. No matter what your fortunes, no matter what your cares, let go this night and begin again. Everybody was passed out on the floor right there, and they're not anymore. I don't think that's them. Those are skeletons. You inside. Can you hear me? Yes! I was fluctuating emergency power. Oh, you are in. Good. Thought that might be the end of you. Unfortunately, your friends also found their way here. Knocked unconscious, just like you. Wondering what happened? You were hit by casino security. Detects anything foreign, radioactive. It subdues the visitor, moves them if needed. Hmm. Getting interference from old recordings. The guests who were trapped here shut that noise off. Looks like the casino moved your friends around once inside. Might be useful or not. Wonder if they came to help or kill you. Still, my signal should work through the speakers now that you're inside. <laughs> Welcome to the Sierra Madre in all its glory. Shut up. This is what the old world stood for, even with bombs about to rain down on them. Now, look at it. Beautiful now its guests are all dead. A world of excess. Better this way. Quiet. How the Mojave should be. Now, with the casino sleeping. It's got places closed off. Won't let you go yet. We'll get there. Trust me. Just need to wake it up. Can you shut up? Mike. Yeah. I hate this place. I know. Do you still have that gun that points backwards? No, I sold it. <sighs> to somebody who was not happy with their life. And believe it or not, they didn't return it. I always keep a brick of C4 handy for when I don't want to live anymore. I would be uh, impressed... Had this not been the 15th time you've done this today. What the? Mm. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what? Sierra Madre employees, at the request of Mrs. Sinclair, please refrain from tampering or destroying the hologram emitters. Remember, the holograms keep us and our guests safe. Thank you. Cool. But you know what that means for us, Zach? It means we can find the emitter and turn these things off. Oh, great. Provided you haven't provoked them into shooting at you. I didn't even do anything! You walked up to him menacingly. Ah, oh, just in time. He was about to spot you. Well, the other one did, though! <laughs> there, that's one way to solve that. Bum 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 Yeah, he's gonna start shooting at us. That's fine. I'll just find the the emitter. Take this hologram. Die. Oh, there it is. I found another computer. Security measure meeting. Since you missed, since you missed it, Sinclair outleaned security measures today. Wasn't blind to what was happening in the news. <laughs> Wanted to take steps if the Chinese... <laughs> Chinese! The Chinese got a foothold in American soil. Ran us through the added functionality of the holograms. Holograms! <laughs> Hologram. No, it's only the E's that get that. The explained... He had a typo. E oh, the greens. Yeah. Then explain the construction of the casino. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna start over. Don't keep any of that <laughs> no, in. No, no. Then explain the construction of the casino. It's emergency <laughs> protocols. <God. laughs> a lot easier. <laughs> emergency protocols and the broadcast signal we are using <laughs> for the gala event. The 
think has a penis, but he seems to have the bases covered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord, whatever. <laughs> we are losing our minds. Yes, we are, some more than others. We have reached that part where we've been so aggravated and so annoyed by this thing. Oh boy, a vending machine code for vodka. Thank God for that. <laughs> oh boy, let's drink ourselves to death. Ah! Uh, there we go, electrical. Finally! Closet. You woke it up good. Shut Even up! Frequencies lighting up everywhere. Damn recordings. Dead echoes in the frequencies. Casino security is shutting down, opening up its vendor and gambling programs in the back casino. <laughs> Still might be something for sale. Maybe something can help you now security shut down. After you're done looking around, head to the lobby and we'll deal with your friends. We've got 98 chips. Let's bet it all on black. Come on. Yeah. Big money. Big money. The house always wins, but only if you play for several hours. Come on. Oh, we got that on red. All right. We lost all the chips we picked up. Oh, well. Well, fuck you. And that's why they use holograms. Wondering what happened to your team? Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Oh, yeah. Shut up! Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see. Had hoped with the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. It's the white noise filters embedded in their construction. They're blocking the casino speakers, the music. You'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller. To do that, you need to get close, reset the signal, or blow their heads off. I'll leave the choice up to you. My preference? Oh. End them now. Oh, so we're allowed to kill them now. They're of no use. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. They're banging on that door pretty hard, huh? Those ghost people really want in. To be completely honest, I'm not gonna feel bad about killing Dog. What about God? Not gonna feel bad about killing God. What about Dean? I might feel a tiny bit bad about killing Dean. Um, well, okay. So I went to the doctor, but the doctor that I was going to, who I actually liked, um, he was retiring. They had to send me to an interim doctor. To examine your interim. He's like, okay, what's wrong? And I went, I have this really bad rash on my, on my, on my taint. <laughs> All right. It, it, it's just really bad <laughs> at, at nighttime, and I, I don't know what to do about it. And he just looks at me, and he sighs, and says, Do you want me to look at it, or do you just want me to prescribe you something? <laughs> I was just like, wow, okay, dude. <laughs> I realize you don't want to look at my taint. Oh, hold on, hold on. You haven't seen it yet. I think if you feast your eyes upon it, you'll see my ass is majestic. I realize you don't want to go looking at some random dude's taint. But you're a doctor. That's yeah. what you signed up for. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't going to be all sunshine and lollipops and people showing up and being like, nope, there's nothing wrong with me. Here's $300. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe tomorrow I'll get the swimsuit model. What a jerk. <laughs> I immediately walked out of his office and then walked over to like administration and was like, yeah, I need a different doctor. Mine doesn't want to look at my ass. He's my, a weirdo. No, I, he <laughs> do, it had nothing to do with my ass. It was my yeah. taint. <laughs> That, that distinction is important. Yes, it is important. <laughs> One time when I was younger, I said, Mom, I think I have some kind of testicular cancer. I think you need me to... <laughs> testicular uh, cancer? I don't know. I got a lump on my balls. They taught me in school that's a sign of cancer. Okay. So I said, I, I need to go to a, a doctor. And then a week later, I said, Hey, Ma, you can cancel that appointment. That lump on my balls? Yeah, I popped it. It was a zit. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I was... Yeah. <laughs> Back to current events. Don't we have to kill some people? Oh, yeah. I think we uh, either kill some people or rescue them or... Dog God, Christine, and Dino Domini. Dino Domingai. Domingus. Dino Domingus. Well, I actually don't have enough ammo to be fucking around like that. 
You found a whole 76 bullets. In yeah, that's not good. <laughs> it might need a whole all of them. Yeah, I might need every single one of those little bloody bastards. <laughs> Do I have any stim packs? You got gum. I got cram. <laughs> Let's check out the bathrooms. That's what friends do together. It's a murder scene. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Our fingerprints are going to be all over everything. Oh, crap. I forgot to get rid of the evidence. Hold on. Don't look. Don't look yet. Oh, don't look. Don't look. All right. Evidence is gone. <laughs> there. No one will know we murdered the skeleton. <laughs> hmm, this is a pristine bathroom if you, if you ignore the skeleton. I just said that we were going to get our fingerprints all over everything. And now here I am dragging a corpse into a bathroom stall. I don't see your hands on him. You're using telekinesis. That's true. I do have that ability. Oh, okay, buddy. You got to... <laughs> as long as no one ever has to use the bathroom, they'll never find his body. This is, it's the perfect way to hide a body. You put it in the bathroom and people are just too polite to actually go in and see if there's anybody in there. Love set. Oh, I guess it's not Dean Dow at all. That's Vera Keys. Hey, wait, that's the woman. That's a hologram. Oh yeah, that's Vera, and that's Dean. I just drooled on myself. <laughs> and that's Dean. Anyway, I was on a road trip. I had to use the bathroom, so I stopped at a rest stop, sat down on the toilet. You know, doing my business, taking taking care of business uh -huh. every day, taking care of business, working overtime, work out. And I look down and I can see someone's shoes in the stall next to me, and I'm like. Those are some flashy shoes for a man to be wearing. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Men don't cover their feet. Men's feet are glorious. Gross. <laughs> and I realized that I had gone into the women's bathroom. <laughs> and I'm just in the women's bathroom, just farting up a storm and destroying the toilet. Oh, they're not going to get the deposit back on this place. <laughs> I open the door and like look to make sure that nobody's in the bathroom and I start to run and like four women come in and I'm just like I'm sorry I went in the wrong bathroom and just ran away that idiot's opened the gas valves a single spark or he sets off his collar the casino's going to burn us along with him like this yes don't do that that's a bad thing all right, one down, but there's still gas leaking. Want show and lights and yelling to start. Yes, yes, sure. Who? Don't get seen by him, don't get seen by him. Sneaking, sneaking. All fire now. Burn away voice, leave dog in peace. I think he saw you. <sighs> yeah, he definitely saw you. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what if I just talk to him? You? Master. No, not master. Dog remembers you. Left dog in cage. Mean to dog. Now, dog. <laughs> Will kill us both unless you do something. Never felt him so strong before. He won't listen to my voice. He's... He's... <laughs> I thought you were eating something. Hungry. Come here, or dog will chase you, break you until you no run anymore. Oh, dog, you better stay, otherwise Master will be mad at you. Hmm? Huh? Master? Don't want Master to be mad. What does Master want dog to... Uh, listen to you. Can't hold him back much longer. Tell him... To pull on his chain as hard as dog can. What master wants, dog can do. Please don't be mad with dog. We would never. No, no. Master needs you to pull the chain on your neck as hard as you can. Uh, apparently. Yes, master. Dog hopes to see you soon. Is, is he? It, oh, he actually is. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh no, he's fine. <laughs> you doing okay? <laughs> no, he's definitely dead. <laughs> now get out! No. Uh, but the doors here are locked, so we have to find a different exit before your collar explodes, preferably. This one. Nope. Nope, that was locked. This one. Nope. Still locked. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe we're about to die here. This one. Nope. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe the key was on his body and we didn't pick it up. Oh, that's uh, that makes possible. sense. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy. You, master, 
Dog, the master has sent me. He commands you to listen to my voice now. Dog is listening. Both of us are. Tell him to listen to me. Then we can get out of this. Finally. And... Now Dog is listening to voice. Your voice only. Dog, look inside yourself. There's a person inside you. Talk to him. Dog does not understand. Voice? The other voice? What do you want Dog to do? Mm, that didn't work. Mm, just listen to the other voice inside now. You go to sleep and let him come out. If other voice comes out, Dog... Dog won't wake up. Dog doesn't want to sleep. Please don't make him... <sighs> go to sleep. Good. Yes. Make him sleep. Please. Don't make me go to sleep. I... Dog is tired. Dog is tired. Can't keep eyes open. Sleep. Dog needs to sleep. Close your eyes and only open them if the voice tells you. <laughs> sleep reject. Sleep like the dead. <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's mean. You did it. You... I don't feel him struggling anymore. I'm in pain and... I hate to say it. I'm starving, but... I'm not fighting him. All I wanted was him to listen to me. Take care of him. Keep him from hurting himself. Now I can. One day, when he's ready, I'll let him out. When we... understand each other. Hooray! He didn't have to kill himself this time! Yay! I don't know why murder yourself was your first choice. I don't know, <laughs> just... Just, I was trying to come up with stuff, man. Was, he said to pull the chain on his neck. I thought maybe that would, like, rip the bomb collar out or something. <laughs> but nope, just kills him. Find the one that dragged us here. End him. It was you who he brought us here. You're the one who dragged us here. The Sierra Madre's almost mine. I mean, you can keep it, man. I don't give a shit. <laughs> And I found this- I found this damaged hunting rifle ages ago, and for some reason I can't use it! Well, you can use it. Oh. What the hell? You know, the only thing that's damaged on it is the filigree. It's perfectly serviceable. <laughs> this thing works fine! Why did it say it was damaged?! <laughs> Alright!